We have been waiting for this day. We have renamed this day. Yeah. Oprah Day. Yeah. You want to know why? She is here. She's been very busy on her tour. Let's check out what she's been up to. Uh, I can't take it. <laughs> I have some good news to share. I'm going on tour. Oprah Winfrey is hitting the road. She's four stops into her nine-city tour across America as part of Oprah's 2020 Vision Tour, Your Life in Focus. Oprah covers diet, fitness, mental health, and more during each day-long event, which are run by WW, the company formerly known as Weight Watchers. Oprah is part owner of WW and sits on their board. As long as there is breath, there is more. I see you back there! Throughout her tour, Oprah's been joined on stage by A-listers, including Lady Gaga, The Rock, Tina Fey, and Amy Schumer. Her next stop, Brooklyn, alongside Michelle Obama. But first, she's with us, right here in Studio 6A. Thank you. Everyone, say hello to need a moment? <laughs> I feel like I need a moment. This is um, so fun, guys. Okay. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. And you manifested this. She did, this. didn't she, yes, Oprah? She did. I tried to manifest it, but really all I wanted was this moment. Oh. Thank you. I wanted this oh. moment. Oh. Let's do it again. Oh. 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 I manifested oh. this moment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Which means, I mean, I can't tell you, Oprah, I feel like I've been in this business a hundred years. And I was, thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that cool? You probably don't need one, but. Oh, good, oh, good, good. We do. Good. Anyway, good. Uh, um, I can't, sorry, goodbye. Um, I can't, cool. you know, I think, you know when people say, like, you mean so much to me, but they've never met you, and I know maybe it always does seem a little weird, but this is really one of those moments for me, so. Well, thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. For coming. So, so, and, so, so, yeah, so, yeah. So, so yeah. tell me why. I know I've heard you say that, but tell me why. Like, you watched over the years. Yes. You, Yes. I watched you over the years. I've watched you lift people up. Yeah. Every, you know, there are like, there's only a couple people on the earth who you want to emulate in our business. And I, used, I watched you like hold people's hearts in your hand. Oh. And I remember thinking like, how does she do that? And, and you did it in such a way and it was always so tender and real. And like the fact that you're sitting here on this day is really kind of blowing my mind. <laughs> I mean, I'm 55 or 56, nobody knows. <laughs> cares but it doesn't matter it, it it just shows you like the the kid in you is still in there when you walk in the door so well, thank you, thank you. Thank and you. everybody you in here them. must yes. feel the same way the last time we were together y'all she was on day one of this tour wait can i just say one thing nobody wants to sit down Okay. Stand up. We have an audience, so they can sit or whatever. Relax. The last time. <laughs> still standing. <laughs> the last time we were together, y'all, it was the first day of this tour. 
You're now halfway through. Yeah. Yes, yes, and yes. are you feeling as inspired as you were day one? I feel one? even more inspired because, you know, there's every day talk about how uh, we are all so disconnected in the yeah. country. Mm -hmm. And as I said to you in Fort Lauderdale, what I thought was going to happen is that you look at a stadium filled with people, red states, blue states, purple states, from all different backgrounds and uh, representations, and yet we come together with this one goal to be well, to be better for ourselves mm -hmm. and our families. And I think there is unity in this common goal to want to do better in your life. And I think that means we're all still rising to the best of ourselves. I so think that's what I figured out. A yeah. lot of these people here are, are unable to go to your cool thing that's going to be on Saturday. And all they want is like a little taste, a little something to lift them up. What do you, how do you start or what do you say to your crowd to, uh, to lift them up? Well, in, in essence, the whole tour for WW mm -hmm. and wellness is about creating a vision because this is what I know. We all have wonderful lives. People get to see our lives on display. Mm -hmm. And you get to see a lot of people's lives on display on Instagram. It's not the truth. Uh, <laughs> Nobody puts their bills on yeah. Instagram. Nobody you puts their I mean? bills yeah. on Instagram. But here's the deal. I think that each one of us was born with a special gift to offer. That's why you're here on the planet. And it's your goal to figure out. We all have our jobs. We all go to work. We need to earn money. But everybody has a real job. And your real job is to figure out what is the real reason I'm here? Mm -hmm. Why am I actually here on the planet? What is the gift I came to offer? Mm -hmm. And for some, it's listening. For some, it's being a great mother. I think people who mother and also mm -hmm. work outside the home, I don't know anything harder than mm -hmm. that. Because, you know, I, I, th I think about all those years when I was doing the Oprah Show 25, it feels like forever. Mm -hmm. But I would get to go home to Stedman and the dogs, mm -hmm. and I could, like, <sighs> and all of my producers had children. Mm -hmm. So you walk in the home after you've done all of that, and you walk in, into your home, those of you who work outside of the home, your children don't care what your job is. <laughs> right? They expect you to walk in and be yeah. mommy and be daddy. And so I think anybody who is looking at the real reason you're here, I think if you have children, that is one of the real reasons you are here, to be a guide and a divine spiritual <laughs> teacher to them. You're, to, you're, you're, they, they are not, it's mm -hmm. like uh, the prophet, Galil Garan. Galil mm -hmm. Garan said, they come through you, but they are not of you, mm -hmm. really. And so it's your job to try to help them to be kind, whole people. And I, I, the whole purpose of the wellness tour for WW is to let people know perfection isn't the goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wholeness is the goal. Yeah. How do we become more whole within ourselves? And 2020, which represents perfect vision, is about setting that ideal for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I know that whatever you name and claim, you can manifest. Mm -hmm. If you name it, claim it. Because a lot of people are waiting on God, waiting on the forces, waiting on... It's waiting on you. It's waiting on Amen. your clarity. Yeah. Once you decide, it's about a decision. Name it and claim, name it. It. Name it, and claim it. it. And the thing that I love like about People just say, I, you know, I want a man or I want to be married. Well, that's very confusing to the universe. <laughs> what, do what, you do? what do you do? Raise your hand if you're looking for a man. Yeah. Okay, so there are some should, hands. What, what do they do? You have to name it. What, so you want somebody that's not just carrying a penis. Oh. <laughs> of them out there but what do you want do you want kindness you want loyalty you want respect you want caring do you want humor does humor matter yes. to you so yes. name it say yeah, it out loud it. what what is it that you're actually looking for people just say oh i just want to be happy what does that mean what does that mean because it means something different for everybody else you know at the end of my show what i love so much for so many years is not I love the show, of course, but I would spend time with the audience afterwards. Mm. And so every day, that was like a focus group for me, talking to people. Because for years, for 10 years, I signed autographs every day. And then when you know when you're signing autographs, you, d you don't even look up. You're yeah. Just about. Yeah. And then one day, I had to go to the gynecologist. Which, <laughs> that's the one thing you can't get an assistant to do for you. <laughs> like, can you take my appointment at the gyne, please? And uh, I also have a funny story about that. But anyway, <laughs> Wait, uh, we got to hear that. And then, and then when I came back, I, I had so much energy because I didn't have time that day to sign autographs. And I started to ask myself, what do I want, which is the 
most important question. What do, what I, do I want? What do I okay. want? What did you Because most people are doing what everybody else wants. If you think about all the things you do, how many of those things are things that you really want to do versus I got to do this for my sister and I got to do this because my job and I got, mm. what do I want? So I asked, what do I want? I really don't want to sign autographs anymore because mm. I realized I had so much more energy and I decided I really want to talk to people. Yeah. Mm. I want it's to better than have an a yeah. connection with the yeah. audience. I want to and you stay every, stay every day. Y'all, she didn't miss one. Is that right? Not one she day. didn't miss one show when In she was on the air. Not one. Not, not one. You weren't sick ever. I was sick lots of times, but I would go came. go to work sick because people listen. People come from all over the country. They come with their cousins. They got their nails done. They got a pedicure. They want me to. Look, she got her, nails, way, done. Got her nails done. We, we have that pedicure. here today for They've you. They've been planning, planning, planning with their with their girlfriends and stuff. They don't want to hear when you get there. You plan for weeks that Oprah's sick. So they would rather you drag in sick, <laughs> say you're sick, and they go, "Oh, Oprah, go home after the show." <laughs> You are such a role we're, model to all of us. We'll take a we're going to take a break. Can we come, don't leave. Yeah, Please we don't have leave us. so much more with Oprah, okay, so do okay, not okay. go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh. Oh.